Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the internet. So I've done a few Fire Alpaca tutorials in the past and on those videos I've gotten a couple of comments from people saying that they don't see the layers on their screen or they don't see their brushes and personally I've been in a situation where I also could not find my brushes. So now that I figured that out I thought that I would make a video explaining how to use the windows in Fire Alpaca. When you open up Fire Alpaca for the first time it'll probably look something like this. At the very top, you have your menu bar, which says file, edit, layer, all that. Just below that, you have your toolbar, which has all the functions for whatever tool you're using, as well as your undo and redo buttons. In case you're not doing it already, um, you might want to try using Control-Z for undo and Control-Y for redo, or even program the buttons on your pen for that if it allows you to, rather than using the buttons up here. It will save you a lot of time. There's another toolbar on the side, but what I'm going to be talking about in this video are these boxes along the sides here. These are the windows, and I specifically want to talk about how to find them if you don't see the one that you need. So on my screen here, the first window on the top left is the color window, which lets you pick your colors. Just below that is the palette, which lets you save your colors. I don't have any saved right now because I had to redownload the program, but it's very useful if there are colors that you use a lot and don't want to constantly have to color pick from an image to find or, you know, try to guess. The next one down is the brush preview, which shows you the approximate size and texture of your brush. The brush control lets you change the size, opacity, and depending on what brush you're using, other factors of your brush, like the rotate angle or the brush spacing. And then below that is the brush window, which has the list of all the brushes that you have downloaded into your Fire Alpaca. Over here on the right side, you have the navigator, which shows you where you are in your canvas the layers which allow you to make and manage your layers, and below that, the brush size, which has a bunch of preset brush sizes, so you don't have to fiddle with the slider on the brush control window. So first of all, if you look at these tiny icons on the right of all the windows, you'll see that the leftmost icon will pop out, the, will pop the window out, and you can move it around anywhere on your screen. Personally, I find this annoying, so I just leave them where they are, but if this works for you, that's how you do it. You can also rearrange the windows if you don't like this configuration. And you can also change the width. If you click the icon on the right, the window is going to close. Now, the first time I did this, I was pretty freaked out because I thought I had broken something and it was gonna be lost forever, but it's okay because all you have to do to open that window up again is to go up to your menu bar, click window, and then click on the window you want to open. While I was looking through this the other day, I actually found a window that I didn't know about, the reference window. To use it, you can either import a picture from your computer's files, or you can find the reference picture that you want to use and copy it to your clipboard and then click upload from clipboard. Now you can color pick from your reference and the window will keep it out of the way so it doesn't have to be on like a layer on your canvas. I hope that this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions or suggestions of other topics you'd like me to make a video about, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!